Hello, my name is Remy Du. I'm a science teacher here at Miami Christian School in Miami, Florida. Let's talk a little bit about projectile motion. And first of all, you have to ask yourself, what is projectile motion? Um, and even more basic than that is, what is a projectile? And a projectile is just any object that's thrown or launched. Um, a missile wouldn't be a projectile because a missile has its own thrust. It has like a, its own engine. But when something is thrown or launched and doesn't, uh, isn't continually being acted by another force, then it's considered a projectile. And projectiles usually move in pretty much the same shape. It's an arc called the parabola. And the size of the parabola varies depending on how, how strong the thrust was that initially launched or, or threw the object. A perfect example of a projectile is a free throw shot at a basketball game. Uh, the shooter lines up his throw, he shoots, and you see a perfect parabola. The ball hopefully uh, will be uh, Nothing but net goes through the hoop. Um, and so when you're considering projectile motion, you want to look at basically two features. You want to look at the horizontal and the vertical features. Horizontal is how far forward uh, the projectile is going to travel. And the vertical is how high up. If you know some of the initial conditions, like how hard it was thrown initially, um, then you can determine the height that the projectile will travel. You could determine uh, the distance the projectile will travel as well as well as the time that it's in the air. Uh, this is especially important in warfare. Um, believe it or not, most people don't know that snipers, uh, when they're shooting, they have to consider projectile motion because bullets are affected by projectile motion. Um, and their path can be bent uh, due to gravity. 